Ah, <sighs> Rec Room player, or a random person who found this video while browsing on YouTube, either or, I present to you my big feet. Other than my big feet, we also have a news video to talk about. I had got a new weekly rotation right behind me, as you guys can see, and I have a bit more information that I think you guys are going to be interested in. So, let me get my, you know, drift and control here. Oh, okay. Never mind the drift, but you guys already know the drill. If you guys haven't already, be sure to support me in Rec Room by using code SKULL. I appreciate it lots and it helps me out quite a bit, so I really do appreciate it if you guys decide to use it. I basically get free money from whatever you guys spend, and of course, let's get into today's video. Now with the most obvious thing, we of course have to talk about our weekly rotation first. Formerly known as the Remix Wardrobe, as you guys can see, we have this new weekly shop, which seems to be like a Stitch type of theme and Best Sellers type of theme. I don't get the Gotta Stitch It Together Best Sellers collection type deal going on there, but it's okay. It's almost like a museum showing off the bonky helmet and the bonky hammer, this big fish, uh, some donuts and stuff like that, and of course our shop. Now we have this new Make It To Midnight backpack, we have this new Stitched Banker shirt, this new Cleaver hat, and fish donuts? Ew. Of course we got a new bucket skin as well which we love to see, and pretty good prices on these two items. Be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts on this 9,000 token item and these, you know, 3,000 token items. Now this isn't all, we also have all these other items as you guys can see, be sure to let me know what you guys think. Of course, inside the rec center, this is what we're working with, as you guys can see. Nothing new, nothing too crazy here. It also seems like Recom has finally changed the discounted offers this week as well. I'm pretty sure this is a weekly thing with the discounted offers and stuff like that, but as you guys can see, it's just like items that are off for 50% or 40% or 30%. It's pretty cool. Be sure to let me know if you guys are going to be copied anything. Now I just want to say I just hit 16,000 subscribers instead of Rec Room, and I want to say thank you for that. I was just at 15k, and now I'm at 16k, and now that I think about it, I got all these subscribers out of, out of thin air. I remember when I had like 7, 8k. I, I was super low back then. And honestly, it kind of blows my mind that that many people have subscribed to me in game. So thank you for that. I really do appreciate that, folks. And it does mean a lot to me. Players are also noticing that they have this new I'm feeling lucky UI whenever they're searching for rooms. It has genres from actions, hangout, horror, PvP, quest, and roleplay. So I'm sure it, you just click on the genre and it'll give you the genre of rooms that you guys can choose from, of course. Oh, I'm pretty sure we got a new featured creator, Truchi. I don't remember them being on the board before. For. I love VR and what it promises for the future of technology. Pasta is a great dinner food, very diverse, an Australian furry, and a circuit's nerd. Of course, you'll love to see that, but in other news, Requiem actually has July Room Awards. They had an announcement saying, earn maximum rewards with a 2.0 room by reaching S tier in the room's 2.0 bonus metrics. Your 2.0 room won't have to hit S tier to begin ranking in tokens though. Just make it to C tier to unlock token rewards. And remember that June is the last month to earn rooms 2.0 hoodie, so get it before it's gone in July. Read more about the latest room rewards news here here inside that little article that they have. Then inside this room highlight section, inside this message, they just tell you to go to, you know, this room highlights article to learn more information, blah blah blah. Now inside this article, I could read the entire thing, or I could just tell you what exactly is changing what's new and coming to July Room Awards. So when it comes to what's changing, it just seems like they're not giving out the Rooms 2.0 hoodie anymore, and that's pretty much it. If you guys are wondering what will stay the same, additional tokens are still available to earn in the Rooms 2.0 bonus metrics, and so their swag bubbly can still be earned from the Commerce metric. And metrics will remain the same as they were inside of June, and you can now monitor your room's performance on the My Rooms tab. And that's pretty much it for our July Room Awards, but it also brings me on to my next piece of, like, Rec Room community news, if you will. In case you guys have been seeing this hashtag called Save Rec Room or Save the Room, basically, Rec Room creators and players have been bonding together to kind of, you know, show Rec Room that the players are their most important metric. Here's a message from their actual Discord talking about what they believe in and what their movement is for and stuff like that, if you guys are really that interested. Basically, the whole goal of this entire movement is just to get a bunch of Rec Room players on July 6th, around 4 to 6 p.m. EST. Hashtag Save Rec Room is a relatively new movement and it's of course gotten some backlash and stuff like that because players don't really know what it's supposed to achieve. Some Rec Room players think that getting a bunch of Rec Room players onto Rec Room won't do anything in trying to convince Rec Room that Rec Room players are their biggest asset. And honestly, me personally, I think we'll just have to wait and see what happens because I, I don't really know. Don't mind the fact that I'm on screen mode, I had just kind of missed a few pieces of news for today's video. Anyways, players are realizing that they can mute the pop-up games audio from their game settings, so you don't have to see a pop-up games in-game to mute its audio. On top of that, whenever you start Rec Room on the Rec Room launcher, there's a few bugs with it. Players were realizing on screen mode that their hitboxes just weren't working on the launcher, avatars weren't loading either, and whenever you sat down on these seats in the rec center, something weird happened. But of course, that's all on the Rec Room official launcher, so it's not like on Steam or on console or anything like that, so don't worry about it. Unless you're using the Rec Room launcher.
Also using the new split test customization feature that allows you to customize your character anywhere, whenever you try switching to full body avatars, your head comes off your body if you're a bean avatar. It's super strange, super weird bug, and of course, what are your thoughts? And in good faith, we had actually got some updates on full body avatars. Max Powers says an update on how the experiment is going to turn on body and face shapes for full body avatars. So far, things are looking pretty good, but we want to get some more data around specific platforms which are low end mobile devices. There's also some strange data around browsing avatar items in your dorm room. We wouldn't have expected for how you customize our shop to be impacted with this work, so we decided to let the experiment run for another week before making a decision and turning on the ability to customize your body and face shapes with full body avatar. <laughs> Oh, oh, sup Raccoon Player? You caught me while I was doing my crab exercise. Um, well, better time as any to promote my channel memberships. That's right, I have channel memberships, just like Patreon, and these people decide to give me money every single month for perks that they can get. And one of those perks are being shouted out in all my videos. So... Of course, massive shout out to my pookies, and my pookies include Ghastly, Garlic Bread, Coley, It's Freddy RR, Jack Tutorial, Nat the Pup, Astro Boy, Dozer Blade Cat, BBB Burning Owl, Bucket Guy, Yo, Shaky, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix 69 and Box David, of course. Thank you guys so much for being a part of the family, and if you guys are a Squidling, I appreciate appreciate your guys' love and support as well. Now, let's get back into today's video. One exciting piece of news that is coming with an upcoming ship is that we finally solved the last bugs we could find around costumes so creators can help configure a costume to override the avatar type that works with them. This means that if a creator does not allow full body avatars to be used with their costume, when a costume is equipped, it will override the player's avatar type and let them know in a message. When the player changes costumes or unequips, their original avatar body type will be restored, of course. In case you guys are wondering, the twisted arm fix has been checked in and is going through our QA pipeline. If all goes well, it should come out within the next few weeks, and he's talking about the twisted arm bug fix. In case you guys are wondering, full body avatar hat adjustment work is in the final stretch of finishing up, but will not come out at the same time as face and body shapes. In case you guys are wondering, socks aren't being worked on on their near term roadmap, unfortunately. And when asked how face covering items are going to be handled for Avatar Studio, Cloud, a record developer, had said that face covering is a policy for first party content. It won't be enforced for third party content like Avatar creators and partnerships. So when it comes to first party content, I'm pretty sure that means like Recum items, officially Recum items and stuff like that. When talking about earning and purchasing that UGC content though, Cloud had said earning and purchasing stuff would be different. Earning a room costume would be limited to the room itself, similar to how it works today. Purchasing an outfit would allow you to wear it anywhere it's allowed. When asked if you'll have to pay to upload items like in Roblox with public UGC, Cloud has said we haven't determined what that will look like yet. And of course, that seems to be pretty much all the news that we have at the moment. Though I do want to note that it seems like players aren't too big of fans on these pricing. Just wanted to say that, I'll be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts on the prices that came out with today's weekly rotation, and I know sometimes they can be good, and most of the time they're usually pretty bad. But it's okay, it's okay. Anyways, that's pretty much it our entire video. I appreciate you guys watching all the way to this point in the video, believe it or not. If you guys want to see more Rekum News content that I decide to post, well, you guys can probably see a YouTube video that YouTube thinks will work really well for you. Go check it out, you may even like it! But but of course, be sure to like the channel and subscribe to the video, and 